turn to the Bible for help. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever been in the situation that you didn't feel like you could make it through on your own strength? Have you ever turned to the Bible for help in that situation? Is religion in general, Christianity in particular, useful? Is there such a thing as the psychological utility of religion? Let's take a crisis situation. Faith gets a bad rap. Try, try being in a crisis situation without faith. You're going to go down. <laughs> You're going to go down. I'll give you again. Real world story from my real life. My, my wife's mother was in the hospital. We had just gotten back from La Jolla. We used to go to La Jolla down in by San Diego. Fantastic little beach town. We used to go there probably once a year. Uh, right after Christmas, actually. Because we, you know, it's like the Christmas would end and we'd be all like... We want something fun to do. So we we go down to La Jolla for a couple of days. Stay in a hotel on the beach. It's fantastic. One time we go down there, come back. Jen's mom had been hit by a car, was in the hospital, on life support, hanging in the balance between life and death. Now, if you've ever had that type of a family crisis, I don't wish that upon anybody. But if you have, you'll know exactly what I mean when I start talking. In that situation, if you turn to God for help, but you turn to the Bible for help, do you find it? I'll, I'll break it down from my own life. The first thing I found when I turned to the Bible for help, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on me because they trusted in me. Because they trusted in me. Then I also read, Call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that, no, that thou knowest not. And I also read, I will be with you in the deep waters. And the instruction from a Christian worldview was perfectly crystal clear. Trust God. Though things are exploding around you, trust God. Well, that's a profoundly useful thing in a difficult situation. That is a profoundly useful way to look at the world. Have faith in the inevitable victory of your outcome. Now start praying. Now let's put aside the fact of whether you think God exists or not. But I'll tell you, start praying. Let's just look at how useful that is. Whether you believe in God or not. It's a lot better. It's a lot more useful if you actually believe. But it's still pretty useful. Just as a psychological tool. Why? Because I'll tell you from personal experience, the most dangerous thing in a crisis like that is emotions. It isn't necessarily the situation itself. The situation itself was bad. But the situation itself isn't what produces the chaos in the other people. That's where the real danger comes from. Because people start freaking out. A situation with my, a cousin of mine who got shot. Destroyed, destroyed their marriage. Their son got shot. In a drug deal. Destroyed their entire marriage. Why? Because they couldn't handle it. Emotions get out of control in dangerous situations. And 55% and of the battle in a crisis situation is learning how to control your emotions. If you've never been in a crisis situation like that, you've got to trust me that that's true. Because that's how dangerous turns to fatal. Because people freak out. And if you've ever dealt with hospitals at 3 o'clock in the morning when life and death is hanging in the balance, you've got to trust me on this. C calming yourself down. The frick down is 85% of the battle. Calming yourself down enough to function rationally is 85% of the battle. And guess who was the only one who could do it? Myself. And what was my tool? Prayer. Outside of whether you think prayer can be answered or not. As a psychological tool to keep yourself calm and focused. It's absolutely excellent. No ifs, ands, or buts, no arguments. You take that to any doc, any medical person you want. You take that to any scientist under the sun. They will tell you he speaks the truth and nothing but the truth. God exists or not, fine, irrelevant in this particular situation as a psychological tool alone. 
just to calm yourself down and stay focused so that you can be of use in the situation is absolutely excellent. Matter of fact, I was the only one who could stay calm. Because I'm the only one who knew how to pray. I was the only one who could focus my mind and I was actually of service to everybody else while they were falling apart. People start leaning on stupid, stupid things to try and feel calm in situations like that. That's when they start leaning on their demons from the past. They start leaning on their old ways. They start leaning on what feels comfortable. So they would stay out late and act crazy. And, you know, that's why you get people who, who destroy themselves when the pressure's on. Because they start reverting back to their old behaviors. And the old behaviors don't heal. They don't help. They don't solve. They feel temporarily good. And that's what you just start looking for in a crisis like that. Life and death crisis. You just start looking for a way to feel better. Well, here's a way to feel better that actually focuses the mind. Makes you more present makes you more competent in the moment, you start becoming of service to the other people because you're the only one with your feet on the ground, you're the only one not falling apart. And what does it, prayer? Works. Works. I just told you the God's honest truth. Take it to anybody you want. Take this to any scientist under the sun. They'll tell you he just spoke the God's honest truth. At the very least, as a way of focusing yourself and staying calm in a difficult situation is absolutely excellent. Absolutely excellent. And then you add this scripture into the mix. I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on me because he trusted in me. Then you add this into the mix. Having done all to stand, stand ye therefore. Instead of feeling like someone who's about to be bowled over by a difficult circumstance, you start feeling like someone who's about to triumph over a difficult circumstance, who's going to keep themselves together now, I also happen to believe that God himself was going to show up and come through for me. But even if he didn't, even if he didn't, I'm just examining whether it was a useful tool, the tools at my disposal as a Christian, the spiritual tools that I had been taught as a believer and a Christian, were they useful Independent of whether God exists or not exists, those tools were absolutely excellent. No ifs, ands, or buts. Useful would be the understatement of the decade. I was the only one who could stay calm. I was the only one who could stay focused. And my main, my main tool, prayer. It works. Promise you that. Absolutely it works. There you go. That's that. Amen.